Never Stop Learning Week 175, we're going to take a quick look at how to set up single button alignment functions using your Actions panel in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014. Alright, so here I've got some basic artwork that I'm going to use to record these actions. First thing I want to do is come to the top. In the Window menu, I'm going to scroll down until I find Actions. And when I click on that, it's going to bring up the Actions panel in the last spot I had it. Now, I just want to clean things up a little bit to make it a little bit easier to work with. So I'll tuck this guy away and then grab this folder and just throw it in the trash. Now those are the default actions and you could always bring them back by coming over here to the flyout menu, scrolling down until you find reset actions. When you click on that, it'll bring back that default actions folder for you. All right, so I'm gonna select my artwork and right here in the control panel, you're gonna find all the different alignment functions. So what I wanna do is assign those to a keystroke. Okay, over here in the bottom of the actions panel, we need to create a new action set. I'll click on that and the name of the set is gonna be called align. All right, now after we build a couple of these actions, we could save this off and have them for future use. Next at the bottom of the actions panel, I'm gonna choose this option here, create new action. All right, this one's gonna be left and it's gonna be in the alignment set if I had different sets, I could click on this drop down and choose a different one. Right here for function key, this is the single key that we're gonna use on our keyboard. So I'm gonna choose F1, and then for the color, I'm gonna assign blue, because that's the color I like to use in my workflow. I'll click record, and over here in the control panel, I'm gonna choose horizontal align left. You see my artwork gets slammed to the left of my document, and I'm done recording. Over here in the Actions panel, I'm going to click on Stop. Now let's see this guy in action. I'm going to bring this back to the center of my document. And I'm just going to hit F1, and you see it throws it back to the left of my document. All it's doing is running this action over here in the Actions panel. All right, if we take a look back over here in the Control panel, the next one is going to be this Horizontal Align Center. So let's do that one. Over here, I'm going to choose Create New Action, and this one's going to be center. I want it in the align set and we're going to assign a function key. This time we're going to assign F2. Now keep in mind we're going to be overriding any F key functions that you had on there previously. Over here I'm going to change this to blue and then I'm going to hit record. Back in the control panel I'm going to click on horizontal align center. Now that it's recorded in my actions panel I'm going to click on stop recording and now I'm going to start running through the F keys again. So F1 throws it to the left. F2 brings it back to the center. All right, now that's great, but it's just a single alignment. What if we want a function that will align horizontal and vertical for us? All right, let's go ahead and create this guy. Over here, I'm going to choose Create New Action. This one's going to be Horizontal and Vertical Center. I want it in the alignment set. For the function key, we're going to go to F3, and I'm going to choose blue. I'll hit record. Now over here in the control panel, I'm going to choose horizontal align center, and I'm going to choose vertical align center. All right, now that I'm done, I'm going to hit stop, and we could run through these guys again. I'll just move this out of the way a little bit, and I'm going to hit F3, and you see it runs this action for horizontal and vertical center. All right, now earlier, when we were recording these, you saw that we were assigning this uh, color to it. I'm gonna hit cancel to get out of that and show you how we could use that. Back in the actions panel, we have this flyout menu. If you scroll down at the bottom, you're gonna find this option for button mode. Now we have these blue buttons because we assigned the blue alignment to them and it gives us a list of what's going on. So we have left, center, horizontal and vertical center and it also shows us what the F keys are. All right, so if I hit F1, I know that's gonna align to the left. If I hit F2, I know that's gonna bring it back to the center. Now, this is also a button mode, so I could click on this, and it's gonna run that action for me using a single click of that button. And there you have it, folks. That's a single button align using your actions panel in Adobe Illustrator CC 2014.